Let's talk your hearing a bit this morning because not all hearing loss is in any way the same. Dr. Tiffany Alberg joins us this morning. She has Alberg audiology. She comes our way about once a month and every month it's a different topic. So that should not surprise me to say that not all hearing loss is the same. Sometimes though, it's really um, not just a hearing aid issue. It's a little bit, for lack of a better term, deeper. Yeah. Than that. So um, I, w I actually had dinner with friends last night, and uh, one of the uh, friends had a husband that has an issue with his ear canal. And so they're going to have to surgically go in and do some corrections on his ear canal and possibly close it off one day. And so she wow. was talking about possible hearing aids for something like that. And so, of course, a traditional hearing aid that you stick in the ear canal is not going to work for that type of hearing loss. We're going to need something that bypasses the whole ear. So we're going to bypass the outer ear, we're going to bypass the middle ear. And there's something called uh, a bone conduction hearing aid where it actually just sits on the on the skull and it sends the sound in through the skull. You know, Tish Gailmar comes our way from the Nature Center and she has this owl and I can't think of which one it is. I think it's a barn owl and its face is really concave and so that's how it hears is kind of through its skull. So is, I mean, I'm sorry to jump to that, but is that kind of what it's like? I that, wish like, I knew. I don't know how, how well, it Well, like, does your skull <laughs> kind of create some so kind of So you echo? have, okay, so if you've ever been to the doctor and they use the tuning fork. On your, yeah. Uh -huh. And they put it on your head and you hear it. Yeah. That's bone conduction. So it's, it's going through the bone and it's going straight to the inner ear. So okay. if you've, and, and I know not everyone has had a hearing test, but we use something similar when we do a, a diagnostic hearing test where we put a headband on at the end of the test. And we, um, there's like a little box, like a little vibrator that sits behind the ear. And you hear in both ears through that bone conduction device. And so this is essentially the same thing, but the doctor actually, well, there's different ways that there's non-surgical devices and there's surgical devices where people wear something and it crosses, like a microphone yeah. crosses through the skull and it goes right to the inner ear. Okay. So that's one type of device. And so uh, sometimes that's confused with a cochlear implant, which is when someone no longer receives benefit from a traditional hearing aid mm -hmm. and they have to go in. They also wear a device in the same place, but this is um, an electrode that sits in the cochlea and so it's sending the sound through another device into an electrode. So totally different So the things. cochlear implant is, sounds like it's more device driven and a conductive one sounds like it's more facilitating the Goal to conduct the yeah so <laughs> I'm gonna get an F in this class. No, the bone the bone conduction device is bypassing the interference that that is going to be housed in the outer or middle ear. So it is going around the source of the problem and going straight to the inner ear, assuming that the inner ear is normal. So we have to make that assumption first. Is the inner ear normal and is there a transmission problem? If so, this is the way that we correct that. Okay. But if someone does not have the, that conduction issue, their outer ear is good, their middle ear is good um, and they just have an inner ear that has uh, progressed and, and gotten uh, you know to a point to where they can't wear a hearing aid anymore then that's where a cochlear implant is going in and re essentially replacing the hair cells of the cochlea. So here's what I understand from all of this. I don't understand a lot on the medical side of it because I didn't go to audiology school, but I do understand that Tiffany did go to audiology school <laughs> and we live in a day, she won't say this, but we live in a time where everything is kind of purchasable over the counter and conveniently, which is great, that has its place. But can you imagine if you have a hearing loss, don't you want somebody who understands all these intricacies looking at yours? Even if your hearing loss is pretty simple and straightforward, it might one day diminish and you too might be in the need of a, of a deeper conversation, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the things that you can purchase online are not prescription devices. So mm -hmm. they're just kind of a one size fits all um, amplifier type of device. And so, you know, whenever we're dealing with unique hearing losses and we're fixing an individual problem and not just like here's some amplifiers, like, yeah. you know, see if it helps kind of thing. Yeah, it, it's always better to have something that's made for you. Remind us of a few things to know. Um, hearing loss does not improve. You can't undo damage. Right. Right. Um, 
why we're still going to be cutting grass and that thing for a while longer. So what's the decibel level that we want to try to keep under? I mean, anything that's over 85 for, you know, a long enough time can cause hearing loss. Okay. Doesn't take but one time to damage it? It one time it wouldn't 85 is not going to be a one time thing where it's going to damage it, but um, it a gunshot, um, you know, something that is that extreme as far as the loudness, all it takes is one time. Okay, so here's where you will find her. She has two locations, Cleveland and Athens. Um, if you are looking just to kind of get your baseline hearing test, maybe you think you're having a little bit of hearing loss, but you're not quite sure how significant, or maybe you do have something significant going on. Her office can help you with all of it. And if it's sudden hearing loss, by all means call right away and they'll yes. help get you into somebody because that's serious. That is right. You have learned so much. On Julie. that part of the class, I get an A. <laughs> but today, I guess my average is now a C. 641 no. 0956 is the Cleveland office. 212 9110 is the Athens office online at allbergaudiology.com.